Yeah, first uh, big event for myself in uh, in PCC. I'm you know been uh, world champion several times uh, in pistols, and uh, PCC is being a new a new game we're trying to bring in over Ipsic. It's already existing uh, in the US for the last three years, I think. And it's picking up here in Europe because it's um, it's a regular carbine like AR-15 platform, but you shoot the 9mm uh, ammunition, so pretty soft. You can use pistol stages, and wow, amazing! That was super fun, and I really believe that's uh, it's a good way to practice um, as well for us as pistol shooters for for rifle shooting in competition. But I guess also police and military, it could be a future way to train and cheap way because it's just 9mm ammo. It's, I think PCC is way to go in the future for rifle. Uh, basically, you train five days during your week and then you shoot in the weekends and you're back again on a five days training and another weekend. Myself, I'm about 200 days outside home, flying around, practicing around. I shoot, I don't know, about 100,000 rounds uh, during normal years. It comes to the world shoot, 150,000. It's less being addicted, you know. It's a, you need you need your drug, and I need it to 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 perform. And when I shoot a wall shoot, for example, it's um, the, the the months before I'm shooting about 2,000 per day, and I usually stop three days before the match. And day one of, of when I stop, I'm okay. Day two, I start to be a little bit like in the need. Day three, it's really time to get started because I really need to shoot. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's for me an excellent, also a good way to be completely addicted like, uh, to, to it. The thing is, you know, I've been doing that for, for years. So I worked out my, my own procedure that works for me. Some people are more into getting ready one or two shooters before. Uh, some people are more in getting under, under you know, concentration the whole day or half a day or all the period they are on the range. I'm more into uh, stage by stage uh, work. So release the pressure, talk with people and stuff like that and get back on. So it's an up and down, up and down procedure. Uh, but that's pretty, for me it works pretty well. It's kind of a procedure, let's say. You, it's a work procedure, so before we get on the stage, before we get the briefing, myself, I'm more, you know, relaxing, chillax, uh, talk with the people, have fun with the phone, playing with, texting my wife, texting the kids, even playing uh, some games on it, do it. Then we're called for the briefing. Let's start working because you have to, have to look, uh, design the tactic, and until I get to shoot, I'm actually focused on what I have to do, Still analyzing uh, the other guys, other shootings, shooters, uh, what they are doing. If there is some uh, time time difference between what I'm planning and what is really when uh, happening when they shoot, and so sometimes small changes, small redesigning into it. And until I get to shoot, focus, focus, focus. Finish shooting, psh, relax again, just to take off the the pressure of the stage. You have to, and you need you need. I mean, family support. 100%. Because without that, you can't you can't travel all around uh, if if your family is not uh, you know pushing you to do it and uh, and making it. Uh, you need the um, sponsors. Without them, there's not even a chance I have the budget to do everything I do. I mean, between all the travels, all the expenses, all the equipment I need to have to to perform. Without sponsors, not not even a single chance. Um, and then also you need the help of the federation supporting you to let you go here and there and do more matches and stuff. So yeah, that's a lot of people behind you to make that achievement possible. It's like being family members. I call them, I said, hey, listen, I need some stuff. I need some product, extra stuff. They say, no, yeah, no big deal. No problem, we'll send it over. Uh, in terms of testing, I don't have much to do in testing because they're they're already top-notch quality stuff. So, I mean, they're already on top of their game and uh, they just work. I mean, there's nothing we can really change on it. Youth Pro makes fantastic pants. Uh, we need those because they, they stretch out, they don't crack, they don't... Um, you, you, you can work them hard and they don't, they don't break. My pant, my training one is like over, what, five years now? I won't say it's new, but it's still, it's still there. And I use it almost every single day at practice. So. Yeah, amazing, amazing product. And then you have also the other part, the upper part. Not only you're on the range all day, so it can be cold, it can be rainy, 
It could be anything you want. It can be hot. Hot is easy. Usually it's not a big deal to handle. But when it gets cold and rainy, you need to trust also that part of the equipment. Make sure that you can stay warm and you can stay dry. I think staying warm, more or less pretty easy. Staying dry, it's another issue because when you're wet and you still have to do another six, seven hours, eight hours on the range, you're a dead guy in competition, clearly. Listen, I got my gun like a week, uh, a week ago. I, I can't blame. I mean, I got the match. I, I would say yes, 100%. Who, who would say they're just not happy to win the match? And you know, that's, that would be crazy. No, yeah, of course, I'm happy about it.